what's going on everybody welcome back to another video i'm thomas this is the buffalo fanatics and if you aren't hyped i don't know what to tell you i'm hyped i'm ready to go i'm coming at you guys with another video and i'm so stoked so stay tuned uh for more So I had the cool idea of actually doing a little mini-series uh, right now just because it works out perfect time in preseason. Um, we're halfway from preseason game number one to preseason game number two. We, we all have seen the awesome, unbelievable quarterback, you know, just the, you know, moving around, the movement. Um, and I think we can all agree that this is a battle on our hands. We got a battle. QB one is is up for grabs. Uh, not gonna lie. I mean, Peterman looks like the lo looks like the main guy right now, who's gonna start. Um, who I would like to start is Allen. And if you saw my last video, I did say Peterman, McCarron, Allen, but that was just based on one preseason game and not in taking into account player movement and seeing Allen go up to the twos and then go up to the ones and then they say he looks so great with the ones. You know, Nate Peterman, we'll keep him with the twos, AJ will keep him with the threes, and that's just going to be our week one. And, you know, maybe Allen starts week one. I would like him to. I think that he needs exposure. He needs experience. And that's one way. That's the only way of getting it is in game time. I, I would, let me put it to you this way. I would rather go 6-10 and 10 and have Allen throw for, like, 3,800 yards and get, like, 25 touchdowns, like, 10 picks or something like that. If he could just do that and go six for 10, I'd be totally fine with it. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I would rather go six and 10 with Allen or even five and 11 with Allen than rather go eight and eight or nine and seven and miss the playoffs with Peterman and McCarron. If we make the playoffs, that's one thing. But if we miss it, it's like, oh, back to the same old bills. You know what I mean? So I think getting back to the playoffs in year two is very crucial. But um, at this point, I think if Allen starts, it's not crucial. But I think if it does for Peterman or McCarron, it is crucial because then you're like putting enough faith in them to like win this season. So it's like, so this is a three part mini series. This is the first video. I'm going to be breaking down uh, Peterman and, and if he starts, what the schedule is going to look like, um, how many wins, how many losses. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in a second. So week one, the Buffalo Bills fly to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Um, I think we lose this game. I think that they are overall the better team, um, and I th I'm going to give us a loss here, uh, th uh, three or less points, like 21 to 24, something like that, 21, 22, 21, 23, something like that. Um, so close game. I think Peterman's going to look good. I think he'll look nice, um, especially if, if McDermott starts him for the rest of the preseason. You know he's our QB1. Um, so then we got Chargers. They are coming to Buffalo. I'm going to that game. So if you guys are going to that game, you know, message me, go message me on, on Instagram because I would love to meet some of you guys. Um, I'll be hanging out with my family. Um, I'm coming with my dad, my mom, my sister, my girlfriend. So I'm, I'm super excited. Um, it's my first, it's my girlfriend's first Buffalo Bills game. So I'm hyped for that. But uh, if you guys are there, go follow me on uh, Instagram and message me. And, and if you guys are going, I would love to meet you guys. It'll be so much fun. So the week after that, week three, we go to Minneapolis to take on the Minnesota Vikings. This game, I think, is just an ultimate loss. Their defense has just been so good. I'm going to give Peterman a loss here, and I give it by seven or more points. Um, I think that that's just um, a given. I think that you can't say we win this game unless it's like a fluke thing where Kirk Cousins gets hurt, gets hurt and their defense isn't as good. But I don't know. I, I you know... I'm just glad we're not taking on the Rams this year. Let's just be honest real quick. So week four, Buffalo Bills take on the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. I have us winning this game, very close game again, three or less points. The reason being is Buffalo is desperate at this point. And I think they're going to take more chances now because they're like, okay, we can't go 0-4. Uh, that would be really bad. So they go 1-3 one and, one and three here, and I think that's reasonable for these first four games. Uh, I think the Ravens game you could also flip-flop as well, so you could be 2-2 two and two here. Um, but as of right now, we are 1-3. and three. 
So next, we have the Buffalo Bills taking on the Titans at uh, the Bills Stadium. I have us winning by seven or more points. Um, I think that I think the Titans are a little bit overhyped. Uh, I think their defense is nice, but I think that they are just they're missing some chemistry or something on offense. I don't know. Moving on, we have week number six. I have the Buffalo Bills taking on the Texans. Deshaun Watson's going to be blowing us away. DeAndre Hopkins is going to be amazing. That defense is incredible if J.J. Watt can stay healthy. Uh, I'm giving us a loss here, uh, 7 to 10 points, something like that. I think that they're just going to be really, really solid. And moving, you know, in the, in the midseason of the, of, the, of the game, they'll probably be like 4 and 2 or something at that point. So uh, I think they'll be pretty good. Uh, moving on, we have the Colts. We are going to be going to Indianapolis uh, to play against the Colts. Um, I have us winning this game. Uh, by seven or more points. I don't know how Andrew Luck's going to be. If he's good, that's something that's very, um, it's going to be scary to play against. But, you know, I think that we win, we win this game. Uh, I think that Nate Peterman at this point of the season, he's already won. Um, that will be his third win of the season. And I think that this time we'll kind of have some uh, momentum clicking. So at this point of the season, we are actually three and four. So actually not too, too bad for um, people saying that we're going to go like three and 13 or four and 12 or something. Not bad that we're three and four. I mean, we're almost 500 at that point. So moving on to week eight, we have the Patriots, of course, coming to Buffalo for that Monday night game. I'm going to that. That's going to be hype. That's going to be hyped up. Just letting you guys know. Um, I'm making sure. I'm marking that one on my calendar. However, I do give us a loss here. I just, it's the Patriots. When do we ever win against the Patriots? Except when it's their third string corner quarterback and we shut them out in uh, Gillette Stadium. That was nice. Um, but I have this losing this game seven to 14. I thought I it's the Patriots. That's all I got to say. Uh, next up, I have the bears. I have us winning this game, um, by seven or more points. It's just as simple as that week 10. We take on the jets, um, at, uh, MetLife stadium. I have us winning this game by seven points. It's the jets. I think we can beat them. Uh, next up, we have the Jaguars coming to Buffalo for some, we can got some revenge to serve, right? I have us winning three or less points. I think it's going to be a defensive standstill again. I mean, Blake Bortles could be good, but I think it's going to be mostly defensive. And um, I think we would come out of there with a win. So next up, we fly to Miami to go take on the Dolphins. I have us losing this game. Uh, by by seven, I think that the the Dolphins are getting to be pretty decent, and you can't really hate on them anymore because they got some pretty good players. So we'll see how they do. But I think that every year we always lose against the Jets or Miami once, and I think that this year it is the uh, it is the Dolphins. Next up, we play the Jets again. Uh, this time at Buffalo, I have us winning three or less points. Um, close game, but I think we win. Week 15, we take on the uh, Detroit Lions. I have us winning this game by seven. I think that Matthew Stafford, when he's on, he's on. When he's off, he's off. And I think that the Bills are going to come out of there uh, with a win. Uh, then week 16, we take on the Patriots again. So late in the season. Why does it have to be this way? Uh, I give us a loss here. It's the Patriots. They're going to be rocking and rolling. They're going to be winning the division. I know I don't sound optimistic, but it's Nate Peterman we're talking about here. The guy who threw... How many interceptions last year? I'm not hating on him. I like Nate Peterman. I think he played fantastically, but it, that's preseason. Let's not get so, so far in advance where we're like, okay, like you can't say that with Josh Allen either. You could be hyped. You could say, look at some of the throws he's made. But the fact is he still went nine of 19 and he didn't win the, win the game. It, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, there's cause for concern, but there's also that that like, okay, let's go. We're actually going to be pretty good. So, um, but yeah, I have us losing against the Patriots seven to 14. Um, and then week 17, I have us taking on the Miami dolphins. Once again, I have us winning and securing uh, a victory there. We win by seven points. That's what I uh, think is going to happen. I have the Buffalo Bills with Nathan Peterman at the helm going nine and seven. Not bad for a sophomore season, especially coming off of that that n very nightmarish game against the Chargers. Uh, we'll see how he does this year if he starts for us. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you want to see more, because I want to post uh, the McCarran version and the Allen version, uh, soon. If you guys really want to see it, please comment down below, like the video so I know you liked it, 
and keep on coming with those views and subscribing guys i mean we're on that 10k chase baby we're trying to get there but first we need to hit 5k first we need to hit 4k actually i think and we're really close away so so if you guys can keep subscribing and sharing with your friends getting that buffalo fanatics name out there we would love to be where the instagram is with a 50,000 k we would love to be there and we need your guys' help to do it uh but any anyways i appreciate you guys for stopping in watching this video i will see you guys in the next one and of course go bills Peace, guys.